Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. We're, we're ready, ready to, to party. I hope you bring lots of spaghetti. I'm scared. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. Come on in, it's time to party with Garfield and friends. Oh. Dancing, fiesta, romancing, siesta, samba, la bamba. Ay caramba, disguises, disguises, surprises, surprises, and pies of and pies of all, all sizes. Come on in, come to the place where fun never ends. You you notice how every week I say something different here? The prima ballerina jetés onto the stage. Ooh. The Olympic gymnast finishes his routine with a full back layout. Here we are in the final round of the World International Hopscotch Competition. Uh, Garfield, why, why can't you just nuzzle like other cats? You deserve better. Garfield, look what you've done! What I've done? Look what you've done! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Hurry! We're being attacked by yogurt! And it isn't soft or frozen! I can't get the door open! The whole house is filled with yogurt! Boy, what luck. John finally gets some decent quantity of food in the house, and it had to be yogurt. Mr. Arbuckle, do you know your house is filled with yogurt? Mm, yeah, I kind of had a hunch. How'd this happen? It's all Garfield's fault. It's not. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'll tell you how it happened. I remember every detail of it. We were in the car this morning. Are you hungry again, Garfield? I haven't had anything to eat in 10 minutes. I demand food, now! Oh, I'll stop at the first place to eat I come to. I hope you like it. Here it is, soft frozen yogurt. Oh, I do so hope it pleases you. Garfield was his usual ill-behaved self. Yogurt? Yick! Pooey! Yeah, ick, icky poo! Ah, uh, but it's food, sort of. I'll eat it. Carry me. I took Garfield inside, trying to please him, but the prices were a little steep. Seven dollars for yogurt? Huh. You can get real food for seven dollars. You know, if we made yogurt at home, I could save a lot of money and give it to the poor and needy people. You're always so cheap when it comes to my stomach. I had to add just the right ingredients so the yogurt would be just right for Garfield. My, who could that be? He never makes enough food. Garfield, look what you've done. What I've done, look what you've done. Let's get out of here. Hurry, we're being attacked by yogurt, and it isn't soft or frozen. I can't get the door open. The whole house is filled with yogurt. I remember exactly how it happened. It was all Garfield's fault. Ooh, you fibber. That's not how it happened. Let me tell you the true story. I remember every bit of it. I was behaving myself as usual. Hmm. Hungry again, Garfield? Oh, I haven't had anything to eat in a day or two, but hey, <laughs> it's all right. I'll stop at the first place to eat I come to, and you'll like it. Here it is, soft frozen yogurt. That's all you're getting. 
Well, I'm not wild about yogurt, but I try to be polite. Oh, goody, soft frozen yogurt. Wait, I can walk. He took me inside and I immediately noticed that the prices were a little steep. Seven dollars for yogurt? You can get real food for seven dollars. You know, if we made yogurt at home, I could save a lot of money and spend it on selfish things. Look, you don't have to spend a lot on feeding me. John didn't know how to make yogurt, so he just threw anything he had lying around into the pot. Ugh, who could that be? Oh, I'm worried about this. John wants so much to please me. Maybe some salt will help this yogurt. But it was too little, too late. Garfield, look what you've done! What I've done? Look what you've Let's done! Let's get out of here! Uh, Hurry, we're being attacked by yogurt, and it isn't soft or frozen! I can't get the door open! The whole house is filled with yogurt! And that's exactly how it happened. You believe me, right? What do you mean you don't believe me? I'll prove it to you. What do you mean you don't believe me? Well, I just said it sounded a little suspicious. I'll prove it to you. Odie, you saw what went on. Didn't it happen exactly the way I said? Odie, you were there. Didn't everything happen the way I said? I exaggerated a little. I agree. Maybe you did too. We've got to find some way to get rid of all this yogurt. Leave it to me. Oh! Oh, wonderful yogurt. Step right up, folks. All the yogurt you can eat. One little dollar. Thank you, sir. Here's your spoon. <laughs> Garfield, this was a terrific idea. We'll run that fancy place out of business and we'll get rid of all the yogurt. Not only that, but now I can go out and get some real food. Garfield, it's hot and humid today. The conditions are perfect. I'm getting a front row seat. I've been waiting all year for this. Silence, please. We're watching the linoleum curl. Orson goes on vacation? Oh no! Is that what this cartoon is about? <laughs> That's what it says. Orson goes on vacation. Why is this cartoon called Orson Goes on Vacation? Maybe because Orson is going on vacation. Oh, impeccable logic, I suppose. But who will be in charge while you are gone? I'm only going for one night, and I've told everyone that if any problems arise, Wade Duck is in charge. Oh, well, that's good to know. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Nothing will go wrong because Wade Duck is in charge. It is a good thing we have Wade Duck to... <coughs> I'm the way duck! Help! Wrong person in charge! Oh, horse and wait, come back! <laughs> Orson, you cannot put Way Duck in charge! I am Way Duck! You're wrong. I'm not wrong. I am so Way Duck. I checked my driver's license. Here, see? 
No, you're wrong that you can't be in charge. Anyone can be in charge. I'm not anyone. I am Wade Duck. Wade, give me one good reason why I can't go away and leave you in charge. Uh, your bus is leaving. Oh, hey! Uh, wait! Wait for me! Hey! Me? In charge? <laughs> I think this has just become one of those science fiction cartoon shows. I'm in charge! Did I say that? Wait! This won't be hard! I can do this! No, I can't! We need to hire a guard! I'm the boss! I'm in charge! I'm the judge and jury! Fix that! Nix that! Take your time! No, wait! We better hurry! Now, hold on, duck! Just calm yourself! Your strength will be revealed! It'll be okay if I can hide all day and be a boss concealed! Responsible is my middle name! I cannot trust to luck! I'll do my best! I'll take command! The buck slaps on the duck! There are decisions to be made, I won't be at a loss. And the first decision I have made is, I don't want to be the boss. Wait a minute, Orson's only going to be gone one day? How much can go wrong in one day? Watch it! I'll get you, you worm! Fight like a man, you, you, you worm! I, I, I have to remain calm. After all, I am in charge. <laughs> Come on, guys. Orson's away. <laughs> Of some vegetables. The new water line goes over there, not here. You're like always so disagreeable. Wrong! I never disagree with you. You just disagreed with I me. I did not. Wait, you're in charge. Yeah, like you settle this, man. Tell him he's wrong that I disagree with him. Like my sister's wrong. Tell her. I Wade. am not. Am too. Am not. Am too. Stop! Stop! <laughs> The duck's upset. No, he isn't. This being in charge is getting to be most disturbing. <laughs> that wasn't funny, Roy. Wade, you're in charge. Roy dropped a tomato on me. Sheldon was late, so I thought this way he could catch up. <laughs> Not funny. Oh, uh, can't you take a joke? Wade, tell him to leave me alone. Wade, tell him he has no sense of humor. Wade, tell him he's a... No, I cannot handle this. Oh, no. It's the weasel. Weasel? Yeah, 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 what you said. Help, weasel. <laughs> Vegetable thievery, and I am in charge. I order you to replace those zucchinis where you found them at once. No. In that case, men, get those vegetables out of here. Let's get out of here, brothers. Like the new water mains all installed, sis. Uh huh, that's what you think. You won't get away this time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Help, Vitical Flood! Help! Dropping tomatoes on someone is not funny! What's that? Vegetables on the head is so funny! Hey, you're right! That is 
funny. See? I told you that was a bad place for the water line. Let me turn down the H2O. Hey, weasel crossing! Roy, the weasel stole some chickens! What do you want me to do about it? I'm a chef salad. Maybe you're right, sis. That is a bad place for the water line. I disagree. It's a fine place. Still think vegetables on the head is funny, Roy? It's all in the delivery. Gee, I wonder where Wade went. He's supposed to be in charge. Oh, worry. Oh, dread. Is it tomorrow yet? Well, Wade, I'm back, and everything seems fine. You did a good job being in charge. I did? Oh, I did, I did, yeah. <laughs> I was in charge, and I was very much in charge. And next month, I'm going to go away for a whole week and leave you in charge. Yes, you are going away for a week. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could give someone else a chance to be in charge. <laughs> It was such a surprise, Marion. How long has it been since we've seen each other? Years. But when I came to town to get married, I knew I had to call my cousin John. We have a lot of catching up to do. And I want you to meet my dog, Odie, and my cat, Garfield. Garfield must not be around now. How can you tell? Because there's food here and we're eating it. Who's this guy you're marrying tomorrow? His name is Harold John. Isn't that a coincidence? His last name is the same as your first name. You see, Odie, when I order a hot dog with everything on it, I want everything on it, including a hamburger. Uh-huh. And I'd be honored to be an usher at your wedding tomorrow, Marion. Oh, John, that's wonderful. You'll love Harold. He has a great sense of humor. Huh? A beautiful woman kissing John? What is wrong with this picture? Come, Watson. We must investigate. I can't wait to see you at the wedding tomorrow. Just think, I'll be marrying John. Odie, did you hear that? She's marrying John tomorrow. No, I didn't hear that. She didn't say it. Not true. I can't wait to see you. You'll be a beautiful bride. I heard that. Odie, it's true. John is getting married. Ah. Odie. Good night, Garfield. Gotta get up early tomorrow morning. I don't want to be late to the wedding chapel. Oh, maybe it won't be so bad. It'll be two people to cook for me instead of one. <sighs> but they'll probably have a kid. Maybe two kids. What'll that be like? M not. M two. M not. M two. M not. M not. M two. Not. 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 You're not enough already. You two. Here's what I want you to do. Send them to Zurich. Give them to the Martians. Just don't tell them to play with the kitty cat. Go play with the kitty cat. Ah! Uh, help me! Somebody help me! There you are, kitty. Would you like to play a nice game? No. Absolutely not. No way. No games. No. Play spin the bottle. No, no, not spin the bottle. Anything but spin the bottle. Help! Feeble cries of help. And now it's time to spin the bottle. No, I don't want to be shaken well before serving. I think I've just been poured. I want to play with the kitty cat. No, no you don't. Uh, I'm a bad sport. Let's play teeter-totter. No, anything but teeter-totter. I'd rather play spin the bottle than teeter-totter. I don't want to play teeter-totter. Here we go. I 
hate playing teeter-totter. I really hate it. You have no idea how much I dislike this. Oh, let's play, play, let's play. play hearts, hearts. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, play hearts. Ooh, mahjong. No, no. John, no. Why did you have to marry me? Why? 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 I have a wedding at dawn, Odie. See you later. Did John leave to get married yet? Mm -hmm. We've got to stop this wedding, Odie. Come on. And do you, Marion Arbuckle, take Harold John to be your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold? I do. If there be anyone present who can show cause why this couple should not be married, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Stop! This man is my dada. Garfield? What are you... I'm his baby and you'd have to take care of me and feed me and boy, do I eat a lot. Watch this. <laughs> What is going on here? What is the meaning of this? What are you doing? You're ruining Marion's wedding to Harold. Marion can't marry Harold. What about me? What about... Gosh. Guess the joke's on me, huh? Cousin Marion, I don't know how to apologize. John, is that your cat? He's so funny. <laughs> I loved it. This is a wedding we'll never forget. <laughs> I told you Harold had a great sense of humor. Let's get on with this, could we? <laughs> if you insist. You two stay out here until the wedding is over. You can babysit Marion's cousins. Well, John's not getting married. And I didn't cause too much trouble. Hey, it worked out, and now everything's fine. Hey, there's a kitty cat. Oh, let's play with him. Yeah, I want to play with him, kitty. Come on, me. No, 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 I, no, I, I want to play with him. No, no, I want to play with him.